Hey guys, how's everything going? I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to solve another problem on bfe.dev. It's uh, implement a queue by using a stack. Okay. Let's take a look at the description. In JavaScript, we could use array to work as both a stack, like push and pop, mm -hmm, or a queue, like push and shift. First thing, last out. First thing, first out. And uh, suppose we have only a stack. We have push, pick, pop, size. Mm -hmm. Can you implement a queue by using only above stack? A queue must have the following interface: in queue, pick, dq, size. First thing, first, first out, right? Okay. Let's just let, let's just take a look at the example like this. This is a stack. Now, how can we get the element one? For this stack, we only have pop, so we can only get four. And uh, pop, right? We we cannot get element one actually. We can pick four. So the only only solution is that we pop all the elements until we get one, right? So yeah, we could just pop three and pop three elements, get one, and push three elements in. So every time we will use a four round, two round, right? Two round of popping, and get the elements. So that's not very performant. While we're popping all like two, three, four out, we could maybe we could use another stack to hold them. Because we will use push, so four push four, three two. So actually, it's gonna be totally reversed order, right? To get this one, and the next time when we are go going to uh, get the head element, which should be two, we could just pop directly from this stack. So we can use two stacks. So this give us the hint that we maybe we could just uh, use two stack. One is for push, and one is for pop. When we push an element, we just uh, push them to this uh, push stack, right? One, two, three, four. When we pop, we check the elements on the pop stack. If it's empty, we will move all the elements into this pop stack, right? From push to pop. And the, naturally, they will be in the reversed order like this. So we can safely get the element. Now, if we want to push a new element, we just push them into the push stack, right? Like, like this, four, five here. So. Yeah, if you want to pick, like for the case here, this empty in pop, we do the same. We move the element, all the elements from push to pop, and then get use pick on this stack, right? Cool. So the idea is becomes uh, clear. Let's write the code. We initialize this uh, this queue with a two stack uh, under constructor. This push. Stack equals new stack. Pop stack equals new stack. Okay, when we in queue, we means we will push the elements into the push stack, right? So this is very simple. Push stack push elements. Pick. Okay. When we pick, we check if the elements are there in the pop stack, right? So if this pop stack. If it's not empty, we just return this pop stack peak. If it is empty and the push is not empty, we need to move the elements in, right? Into this pop, pop stack, pop stack from push stack. So this process actually will be reused into this DQ method. And I'd like to create another internal method called move. So it's gonna be uh, keep popping the push stack and uh, push it to push into pop stack. So while uh, this push stack size is bigger than zero, this pop stack push this push stack pop. Cool. So yeah, if push stack is not empty. We will move it right, and then we will return this pop stack peak. If both of them are empty, we just return null or undefined. I don't know. Let's just use null here. We're not okay. Size. It's simple. We just return this. Return 
this push stack size plus this pop stack size. For DQ, we're just doing the same, right? If pop stack is not empty, we just to pop, right? And if push stack is not empty, we remove them and pop. Cool, so that's it. I think we're done. Let's run the code. Ah, some tests failed. Default pig should return undefined. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's undefined. Okay. Great. I think it is an interesting problem. Yeah, that's all for this uh, problem. Actually, there is a related problem, say, implement a stack by using Q. Yeah, I'm going to solve in the, solve this in the later uh, videos. Stay tuned. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.